We are with Representative Tina Orwell from the 33rd District. How are you today? Good. Could you please talk to us about your bills regarding human trafficking? What happened last year? Well, last year there were 12 of us that actually ran bills to combat the commercial sex industry. And unfortunately, SeaTac, which is in my district, has one of the highest rates of child trafficking in the United States. These bills were really to increase the fines and fees for people who bring victims into this industry and um, are, co are coercive to these victims. And what we did that was different than other years is the fines and fees, instead of staying at the state level, come back to the local. These give tools to law enforcement to be able to do more operations and also to do John schools. And it also helps the victims, it helps them leave the industry. And we have drop-in centers, we have counseling and other services to help them get their feet back on the ground. This year, we are looking to actually bring some more of the oh. fees back. Okay. We can impound cars for people that are Johns or users of the commercial sex industry. And again, those dollars are going to come back locally. And we're also clarifying that the dollars can be used for victims because there was some questions asked. Oh, and we think it's important to do both. Mm -hmm. This year, you have a very interesting bill that is about creating a new life, about starting over for these victims. Yeah, I'm really excited about this bill. One of the things we've learned uh, working with the young victims coming out of this industry is it's really hard for them to build their lives back. You know, they need to go back to school, they need housing, they need to go back to work. And sometimes those prior convictions um, are held against them and are a barrier to that progress. And so now these young girls or young boys can go to a judge and they can review their history and the judge can make a decision to remove those from their record. Oh, so clean record. Clean, clean record. record, yes. Wow, that's, yeah. that's awesome. Human trafficking is a very important issue to you. You've been mm -hmm. working on it ever since you got here. Yes. But also, you have a history working for people who have been wrongly convicted. Mm -hmm. You've been sponsoring a bill on this issue for three years now. Well, you know, I did start working on it three years ago, and the University of Washington has called the Innocence Project. And they came to see me, and I met several of the men who had been wrongly convicted in our state, and I think there's six at this point in time, and I met Alan. And Alan had been incarcerated for 17 years for a crime he didn't commit. He missed seeing his three kids grow up, which I, as a parent, I can't even imagine. And what happened is the prosecutor didn't allow the DNA evidence into the courtroom, and once the, the case was reviewed, the judge brought it in, and then the charges were dismissed. But that's 17 years of his life gone. And what happens is when someone's wrongly convicted and released, they don't get anything. They don't get any services, any supports, and they're devastated, you know. They've lost so much of their life. And so this bill tries to compensate them. You know, we can't make up for the year's loss, but we can help them, again, get their feet on the ground. This bill helps them get educated. It provides a compensation for the number of years they were wrongly convicted. So just the basic things to really help them with their lives. So can we afford it? Is there money for it? We know, I think there's an interesting thing people should be aware of. Because we're one of seven states that doesn't compensate, the only avenue that these victims have is to sue. So our state actually has three lawsuits pending. And just the payout of one lawsuit is probably more than the combined amount of compensation to all the men. So one, I think it's the right thing to do, but I also think it's a smart thing for us to do. And we're all, we are looking at places to get that fund that tie back to the court that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so um, we do have some ideas of how to fund it this year, which wouldn't compete with the general fund. Great. Good luck, and we'll see you again next time. Great. Thank you.